Hello everyone and good day to all. Today we are going to talk about three Genii projects that can make your resume stand out from the rest. Make differentiator projects. I am Sampur Ratan Jain and I am here because I love data science and I love to teach. Over the past 10 years, I have had the opportunity to work in over 120 projects of various domains. The first project that we are going to talk about is something called the Web Rag Chatbot. So the first thing that you will need to do is pick a project or a library that has documentation available on the internet. The second thing that you will do is use a tool called Firecrawl, basically scrape all of these web pages for you. This is an AI based tool that scrapes not just that particular page, but all sub pages within that website. The next step is going to make your scraped pages into LLM friendly document formats. We will be using Doclink for this. The next step after that is going to be we will be using a chunking strategy called contextual chunking with LLMs. Now this is something very very unique, very very rare, very very new. Then finally Using the MTEB leaderboard, we will identify the best vector databases, best embedding models and the best similarity metric to apply our RAG. How do we apply our RAG? We use LangChain. We will be using LangChain to apply our RAG. After we identify which vector database to use, which met, uh, embedding model to use, which similarity metric to use, we will be using something called LangChain to create our RAG based search system. Now. To add more to this project, we will be using something called Chainlit to create a chatbot UI very quickly for the system. Let's move on to the second project that we will be talking about, which is called text to sql So first you will need to choose a SQL dialect. It should preferably be Postgres, but you can also choose MySQL or Microsoft SQL or any other that you like. But again, Postgres is preferred. Second, we will be using Mockeroo to create some synthetic data. We will be generating synthetic data for using Mockeroo. Next, we will be using prompt engineering to create a data dictionary for the synthetic data. Okay, this will be a very simple prompt. We will have to pass each row one by one to generate a synthetic data dictionary. Next, we will be using, using something called as the unified prompt framework to generate a thorough prompt for SQL generation. We will be talking about this unified prompt framework in a bit in an article. But yes, this is what you will be doing. Second, we will be using a simple Python function to execute this SQL on a database. Then finally, we will be adding a reviewer LLM as a judge to ensure that our output is correct or not. If our output is incorrect, we can either put a retry decorator or we can simply say that we were not able to get the output. Lastly, similar to before, to create a UI for the system, we will be using Gradio instead. Now coming to the third project that we are going to talk about, we are going to talk about marketing strategist agent. We are going to from Gen AI, we are going into Agentic AI now. So the first step is going to be very simple. We need to set up our agents. What will be these agents? We will be content creator agents, marketing strategy agent, SEO agent. All of these agents we will be creating. For each of these agents, we will need to set up their tools and individual tasks. What are they going to do? what tools are they going to use to do to achieve what is expected of them and how will they be doing what they are asked to do. Finally, we will be using Streamlit as a UI for engaging with the system. If you have any questions, please let me know. The blogs are coming soon. Bookmark this video. I highly recommend bookmarking this video and watch the pinned comment for the blogs.